Brian Koberger's DNA was on the knife sheath of the weapon that was used to stab the Idaho four to death. And that knife sheath was found by investigators next to Madison Mogan's body. This information isn't conjecture. It's not from anonymous sources. It's not a hunch. This is straight from police and it was contained in the affidavit that law enforcement used to secure his arrest warrant. One of the first investigators on the scene that day spotted a tan leather knife sheath belonging to a K-bar style military weapon on the bed to the right side of Maddie's body. Now, this is a stock photo, but the sheath looked just like this. It had the KA bar and the US Marine Corps insignia stamped in, and it was processed by the crime lab, which returned with one single source of male DNA on the object. So DNA belonging to just one person was on this crucial piece of evidence, and it was located right up there on the snap, which you have to actually open up in order to take the knife out. That DNA became the suspect profile. So pretty much out of the gates, police in Moscow, Idaho knew they were searching for one man. So they have this DNA profile. And then after connecting the Hyundai Elantra to the crime scene, and then the Elantra to Brian Koberger, as well as a physical description of the killer, which I will go into in the next video, police then needed to match that suspect DNA and they thought they had their guy. On December 27th, investigators removed trash from outside of the Koberger home in Pennsylvania. They were able to get a DNA sample then, and a day later, the crime lab returned with a more than 99% match that the DNA taken from this home was from the father of their suspect profile.